Have you ever wondered about the link between physics and music? If so, lend me your ears. This video is definitely made for you. Music is a pattern of sounds arranged in a particular way by an artistically sensitive human being. However, the phenomenon of musical sound can be treated in a scientific way. A musical sound, as any other sound, starts with the formation of vibrations that travel through the air and other materials as longitudinal waves. These waves eventually reach the ear, where they set into vibration an organ called the eardrum. So, consequently, nerves send impulses to the brain, which translates the phenomenon into the sensation of music. Now, let's shed light on the main cause of uh, any musical sound production, which is resonance. Resonance corresponds to the natural vibration frequencies of any musical instrument or any object. It occurs whenever a physical system is driven at its natural frequency. To understand the phenomenon more, let's talk about standing wave. A standing wave is a wave that occurs whenever two waves of equal wavelength and frequency travel through a medium so that they perfectly reinforce each other. A basic standing wave is composed of two parts, motionless parts called nodes and moving parts called antinodes. Now, let's think about resonance and uh, standing waves in a more musical way by taking the example of a guitar. As I pluck the open E string on a guitar, I get this sound. But as I press on different cases, I get different sounds that get higher and higher. This that means that frequency got higher too. So let's see the explanation behind. The expression of the fundamental frequency is velocity on the wavelength. In this case, our vibrating string represents the half of a full sine wave cycle. Therefore, the wavelength of full one full cycle is twice the length L between the ends. So the frequency equals velocity on double the string length, since velocity equals the square root of the string tension divided by the mass on the length. Frequency can be put in the following form. All in all, the higher the string tension, the higher the frequency, the lower the string length, the higher the frequency, and the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. I really hope you all like this video and thank you for watching!